Um, so I'm Kate Vosper. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I played outfield. I played from 2013 to 2017, and I was a nursing major. Um, on the field, I can honestly say I don't think there was one game that doesn't like stand out. I have like strong memories of all the games. There was always something going on and I think there was always like a lot of heart in all the games. So they are very fond memories that, um, that I keep. And then off the field, <laughs> we had some good times. <laughs> um, yeah, we we definitely had some good times. I think one of the like uh, bigger events that I remember are all our homecomings. Homecomings are a big deal. Um, even now, we would have like homecoming concert with some big big names coming. I remember we had um, Migos, Nipsey Hussle come in. All those things. Those were fun. And seeing the band play, that was I I loved seeing like football games in the band play. So with the team, I my sophomore year, um, the first year that Larry and Bob came by, we um, that was our first year going to the MEAX in quite a while. And I remember we had like one one game that we needed to win, and um, I ended up hitting the game-winning home run that game. So that was like really big. <laughs> that was a, that was a great experience. Yes. Yeah. I think when I first graduated, it was a lot easier to keep in contact, but now that we're all kind of working full time, it's a little bit different. But like I said, homecomings, when, when homecoming comes around, you know, last year, all the girls from California came out, we got an Airbnb, everybody was together, and it's like, never miss a beat. <laughs> Um, definitely, I think the crosstown rival, Coppin State, was our biggest one. Um, not is, yeah, Cop Coppin State. Um, man, it's hard to say <laughs> like one specific memory because we just. Like I said, we created a lot of memories. I think one of the funnier things that the team did together was our rookie videos every year. Those, yeah, right. Yeah, those things were hilarious. At the end of the year, uh, every year, all the freshmen would make a video kind of making fun of all the upperclassmen and the coaches. And I, like, every year we just laugh our, laugh our butts off. <laughs> they were cool. Morgan was, I mean, it's just like a, a team and like family environment. You know, you go to sleep with these girls, you wake up, you go to weights, you know, you have classes with a lot of these people. Um, <clears throat> you go to practice afterwards, you eat dinner afterwards. You guys are always together. Um, yeah, I miss, I miss just like softball and being together with the team. Funny enough, I actually think that most of me getting my first job was like, I know I worked hard for it, but um, Morgan kind of facilitated that. We had a nursing recruiter come from John, Johns Hopkins who we met and she liked me and <clears throat> I had actually applied to a few different hospitals, but I ended up sending her an email like a month after I graduated and she slid my resume through to um, the manager at my first job and the, one of the reasons, you know, she really liked me was because I came from a team um, and played like college sports and knew how to work as a team member. Um, I think that it's honestly, you know, the coaches and your teachers and everything can do as much as they can, but it's really going to be on you um, as to where you finish. If you apply yourself, you can go places, and if you don't, like, you might 
they always say C's to get degrees, but <laughs> I don't know. The more you apply yourself and the more the harder you work for it, the more you're gonna accomplish. So you can only do so much like as a coach and as a teacher. It's really it relies on you. Life is different. Life is definitely different. I actually had switched jobs um, right right before the pandemic really hit the U.S. Um, and I had moved to the cardiac surgical ICU and they stopped doing surgeries, of course. Um, and so then all of the other ICU patients came to our, our unit. So we had to, you know, go out of our comfort zone a little bit because there's a lot of patients that we really wouldn't see on our unit there. and like a high level of care um, and then you know like there's no family visitors or anything like that some of these people are on the units for months weeks at a time or you know even dying and they don't have any family there so that stuff is like super tough but I will say that just like just like being on a team like the nursing community the healthcare workers everybody has like come together and just to do their best in this time and you know, every day things change, so we're just trying to keep up with all of the new recommendations and um, figure out the best course of action. Yeah, just doing the best that we can.